Okay, uh, we've done a couple of different calculated fields. Uh, this time I want to use what's called uh, aggregate calculations or using the total row in query design view. Uh, aggregates enable you to group records together to perform a, an aggregate or a group calculation. So I can uh, get a, a grand total sum or an overall average and things of that sort. Uh, this time I'm going to use the contract table again and uh, the goal would be to see what's the overall average uh, lesson cost and then maybe I want to see it broken down by uh, lesson type like what's the average cost for guitar lessons versus piano so on and so forth. So to do that uh, I'm going to create a query so I'll choose create query design and add the contract table and let's just start with a uh, one field. We want uh, lesson cost. So if I add the lesson cost field to the query, and I'm going to go ahead and save this query as uh, lesson aggregates, and then click OK. Now, if I add just that one field to the query and I run it, uh, it's just going to show me all the records that the table has to offer and the uh, associated lesson costs. So there's 46 entries in there and these would match up with the same 46 entries that you see right here in the table. Okay, um, But I don't want to see each individual entry. I want to know what the, uh, the, let's say we want to know what the average monthly cost is across those 46. So to calculate that, uh, I go back to design view and I go up here to totals and I click totals. Now when you click on that totals button right there, you'll see that a new row opens up down here. I'll turn it off and it goes away, click it again and it comes back. So the total row is open and then where it says group by, just click on that and choose what kind of calculation do you want to happen. So I'll choose average. And now when I run this, instead of seeing 46 records, I only see one because it's showing me of those 46 records, the average lesson cost is 153.37. And your boss says, hey, that's great. That's fantastic. Um, but um, that's great to see the overall lesson cost. But really more important to me is I want to see what the uh, average lesson cost is uh, by lesson type. So I want to know what that is for the guitar lessons versus uh, singing lessons and so on. So if that's what I need, then all I'm going to do is I'm going to bra uh, drag this lesson type field right here. I'm just going to drag it right down in here and drop it. And all it does is it kind of pushes itself into the leftmost column, which I like because I want to see guitar and then the average cost. And so now I have lesson type group by. And what that means is that it's going to group all the guitar lessons and then perform an average. It's going to then group all the um, cello lessons and then give an average. So when you run this, it goes from having one record for an overall average to eight records because there's eight different lesson types. So it then calculates for cello, the average lesson amount is 233, flute, and so on. And your boss says, hey, that is, that's great, that's perfect. Um, but you know what, on top of that, what I'd also like to know is not only what the average is, but what's the actual total. Uh, in other words, what's the, uh, the amount of money that's coming in for cello lessons, the grand total. So I go back over to here, and I have lesson costs, and I can do here and choose, I want sum. I want to know what the total is. And then I run it, and the boss comes back and says, okay, that's great, but I still want to see the average. Right? I, I want to see both. I want to see both the lesson average and the grand total. So, I'm, oh, okay, go back to design view. And so really what I need to do is just simply add the lesson cost again. So I just double click lesson cost and it shows up twice, once here and once here. And now I can change this from group by to average. And then when I run my query, I can see for cellos, I'm bringing in $700 a month and the average cost is 233 and so on. And then if you wanted to know anything else, then you could just continue on with that same thing and just add the fields as ne necessary. So that's how you perform domain aggregates. And it's a very helpful, useful tool.